like last year it was <laughs> zero degrees legit and then this year i saw highs of 60s yeah so should we hunt in some shorts? Might as well. I don't know. Are we hunting water? No, I don't know. I just love the country. We want to show you guys why we love the place. And a lot of people get mad, like think we blow out public land spots. There's a ton of public land where we're going. And we just want to encourage and inspire people to go check out this area. It's awesome. We'll bring you guys along the whole time. If you're going to steal someone's spot, you better be in elk shape. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, Play, well, that's why we train all year, so you're going to run the fastest. <laughs> I think I've arrived, man. Someone made a meme about me. I feel honored. Thank yeah. you. Real men drive forwards. You guys know that. Yeah, man. Real men drive forwards. <laughs> you're not supposed to show this truck on the internet not, because just, I don't want anyone to... It's just a white blob. I don't even care. Yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> to South Dakota today. What do you think about that? You're gonna go all the way to South Dakota? Yeah. One trip? One trip, maybe one tank of gas. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey. We made it to South Dakota. South Dakota! South Dakota! All right guys, check it out. So this is called the evolution of, last year I got the Hantavirus because a mouse crawled into my tent, crawled over my face, and shit on my toothbrush. Like on it, like mouse, a mountain of mouse poop on my toothbrush. Josh brought a couple, I brought a couple. We're setting mouse traps left and right. This is my first time ever rocking insulated Kinetrek boots. So these are the mountain guides and they're insulated and I'm super stoked on that 400. So my feet are gonna stay warm and toasty. Yeah, I'm and super then, proud of you for that. Thank you. And then what do we got here? We got a little gift package for this hunt specifically. And I like gifts. If you guys wanna send gifts, that's cool. Okay, I asked for and you ask and you shall receive. Wild boar bacon bean stew. From, Times two, that's my favorite, one of, I guess, one of my favorites. We got my absolute favorite, bison beer, black bean chili, storeway gourmet. Los Payos Hermanas, I believe that's chicken. And uh, more bison and beer. I like this stuff because they have chefs make it in-house, then it goes right to the freeze dryer versus having food shipped in and then packaged. So uh, we're killing mice. Our feet are gonna be warm, and our bellies are gonna have lots of warm, yummy food in it, and it's supposed to be, gosh, it's it was zero degrees on this day last year, as in like zero. And right now, I checked, it was like 37, so I feel like I'm sweating. Yeah, it's balling me out. And the last thing I wanna say on this entire video project is that I wanna get Josh to talk on camera. That guy. That's going to be a challenge, but we're up for it. You guys come along. Tomorrow is our opening morning here in South Dakota. These are so good. Is this your elk? Yep. Okay, let's talk about your cooking preferences here real quick. If you're trying to cook abroad, do you like some black crispies or no? Yeah, a little black crispies. you like black crispies? Yeah. Dan, where you sit on the black crispies? These are so good. Two things we're gonna get pretty good at showing you guys, and we can't always guarantee we kill things. Well, Dan pretty much can, I can't. Is uh, we're gonna get much better at showing the food and the travel. Because if an animal doesn't die, we still have to talk about things. I think you do, yeah. Guys, welcome to day one of South Dakota. We got our camp set up, base camp life, and we're gonna go out and just get inventory on what's in the area. I think Dan's going, Dan, where are you going this morning? I might do a little uh, road truck glassing, especially with this uh, 
this is where I killed last year. I want to go there and see what's up. And then um, I actually got to go meet the landowner that I uh, bring him some beer. And uh, he's a great cattle guy and just kind of get the word on the street. Uh, and you know, I like across the camp from us here, man. You know I like it over there. And you kind of have your spots you like. It's kind of cool that we all kind of have our own places. Probably want to help you set up that uh, tree stand too. You know? Yeah, so day one is just gonna kind of be getting some inventory and if we see something worth chasing, and when I say worth chasing, for me, that's pretty much brown and on four legs. I'm not gonna be too picky. Just try to find some things, figure some things out and spend the rest of the week hunting. All right guys, we are headed to Whitetailville. Kind of looks like this over here. So the cool thing about this year is last year we did a lot of the leg work. We have spots. So we're going to get into one of those spots and basically check it out for some sign. And we have a couple stand options. I got the saddle that I can hang and the ground blind. We're just gonna go in, inspect it, see what we can see. I'm gonna rely on Dan's expertise of Native American hunting skills. And we're gonna set a stand probably if we can find sign. Guys. Hanging out with Tim, trying to find him a deer spot for his saddle. Uh, the spot sucks, but he still wants to go over here. Look, that's Tim for you, dude. He's he's thorough. I would I would not. And then by these people's house over here on public land, there's 20 white tailed does, and I was like, Tim, put a ground blind there. There's literally 20 does. It's November. The buck's gonna show up. I was like, no. So Tim, so you guys don't know this, Tim. And you're seeing this now, Tim. You are so stubborn, which I respect because I am too. So um, we got I got a spot that I remembered last year. So I'm hoping Tim will agree to go check that out. Uh, but I, I'm not digging this, man. There's cattle everywhere. We just saw that coyote. All the deer are by the people's house over here on public. Scratching it off the list for sure. And then there's Josh who doesn't talk much, but he's probably, those are the guys you gotta watch. Your spot sucks, dude. <laughs> it, it was awesome last year. Yeah. Now where? That's where we check. Now, uh, south of the highway, north of the Continental Divide. Do it. We got there. Pork rinds. Did you crush that whole bag if you had to? They're good, man. Look at there's your buffaloes. Oh. Just, darn it. just the male uh, left his herd for a little while. Ah, uh, darn it. The honey badger don't take no shit. All right, guys, so here's the deal. We got a bunch of deer down in front of us, and one buck popped up. This buck would be plenty good enough for me. I'd be stoked, but he's just like popped up and fed underneath the ridge. So we do have a buck in front of us. We just have to figure out where he's going, and either intercept him or whatever. But lots of deer around and that's a good sign, especially every day the hunting should get a little better. Deer get a little closer to that magic time of year where they want to find sweet love. So we'll, uh, do our best and keep it posted.
guys, what's up, man? I, I love South Dakota. It's got a lot of public land. It's got a lot of deer. That's the, kind of the combination we're looking for, man, is just... Yeah, like a stew. Meat, corn, potatoes, salt, pepper. That'll be good. Still way gourmet. How many stars out of five? Uh, 4.5 in the beer, bison. 4.5, that's pretty good, man. This guy is a really good friend. I've known him a long time. This guy's a really good friend. I've known him a long time. And it's just like we all connect. So we're chasing deer. We're not picky. We want to get stocks in. We want to hang. And South Dakota's special. So recap today. I'll just go quick. Saw one buck chasing a doe for a little bit. Didn't see the caliber of deer that I saw last year. They were definitely not really rutting. I wouldn't even call it pre-rut. I gotta go find those bachelor groups. That's what I learned today. Tim. Yeah, man, bucks are not there yet. Their juices are maybe three or four out of 10. So they're starting to get a little frisky, but they're just not chasing. Every day it should get a little better, but the weather's warm. That's not awesome, but we're gonna make do and just trying to figure it out, put the pieces together. I did see a buck today. I did see ample amount of does, and I'm just gonna go back tomorrow morning, run the same program, and if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna go hike a big loop to some country I'm familiar with and, and just get the, get the full report. Josh Mann, today and tomorrow, what do you got? Yeah, well, today, a lot of, a lot of does, not many bucks. the gist of it. Tomorrow, hit some new territory that hasn't been seen yet. Oh, for cooler temperatures coming up later on in the week. Yep, I got a little sliver of public land I found that I don't think was public last year. Tim kind of scoured it with me, uh, doing a little phone e-scouting, and I'm stoked. I'm gonna go in there tomorrow, and the cool thing is it's not that far, so I don't have to burn a ton of time. If it's, if it's not good, bounce out, go to greener pasture. So guys, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button the bell if you want to be notified when we drop this awesome public land hustle. We're in South Dakota and we'll catch you on the next one.